Welcome everybody to another episode of Latifs Inspired. I am in the heart of Molly Bazaar, which used to be a part of uh, Silet. Uh, however, it's sort of broken away. And I've been invited to a little get together and I thought I'm gonna come and check out the local bazaar. And we've been told about an amazing little restaurant uh, which serves authentic food, meats, uh, modern type style of food as well. And they've got, they do an amazing grilled chicken and I love a grilled chicken. So I thought, do you know what? I need to do a nice little upload. So I thought I'll come here show you the local vicinity of Molly Bazaar. I want to see it myself as well and go and enjoy a nice meal with a couple of little lads with me. So let me show you around. This is a local little bazaar. The people eat loads of beetle nuts. So there's loads of beetle leaves. Men, women, everybody shopping. Cut all these beetle nuts, beetle leaves. Little fish market. We're here in the daytime, so in the evening, there's more fishes. Got a dried fish section as well. Salam alaikum. Balasan. Amazing vegetables. Check that out. So this is like an underground bazaar. Which is nice. Nice and clean, which is important. We've got fresh bananas, eggs. Duck eggs, quail eggs. Salam alaikum, Balasundi. Alhamdulillah. Fruit stalls. More fruit stalls. This is a very famous restaurant in Wally Bazaar, the Punchy Restaurant. You have a few of these Punchy restaurants up and down the country. People shopping, quite a busy place. I love these little hidden away restaurants on the sides, Biryani, serving biryanis and fresh paratha and roti. Wonderful. These lovely souk style shops and street food vendors. Look at that, serving wonderful pushkas. People are loving it. Loads of shopping, supermarkets and so on. I was walking past this amazing little shop, check this out. Very colourful and loads of shopping inside. Lovely little shop. Modern buildings going up, wonderful. As you're walking past, admiring the little mini skyscrapers. Females out and about enjoying their little street food, pushka, chapati, etc. It's nice culture to see just having a little wonder. Now we're going to go towards a lovely, uh, very famous shop called the Bilash. Opposite that is the MB. It's most of the well off people, they go shopping there. Very good shop, and you can find everything inside. So, check this shop out. Very busy as you can see. So, the main, main event is downstairs, serving the women, the saris, the sawakamis, etc. And upstairs um, is the men, the, the children and shoe section. Very colourful, very popular shop. So when you come into Molo Bazaar, I've been told you must try this amazing little shop. Now, let's show you the opposite competitors, which is the MB, which is very much the same. And this is a famous guard. Um, there's a similar, I think it's his brother or something, opposite in the other shop, his size. So the MB. 
nice colorful lighting loads of cut loads of clothes females the sharis the silver kameez etc and once again the men's section shoe section with me, uh, children is upstairs so lovely little wonder and now we're hungry gonna grab something to eat and uh, let's go to our destination there you go it's called mamur bari so this is the restaurant that i've been recommended uh, to go because the lads with me there want to go and eat there and they like the grilled chicken so here it is so there's a little path going into the mamur bari and you can also park the car so we've come by local CNG so we don't need to park the car anywhere which is good so this is it Mahmoud Bari so you can park your motorbikes park your car outside the restaurant there you go so they do kebabs grilled food and this seems like the restaurant so all your milkshakes, fruit juices, freshly made. Banana Slaniko. There you go. And this grilled chicken, kebabs. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, rahmatullah. So, uh, so there you go. Chicken. That's your chicken chop, grilled chicken, shish kebabs, lovely. So this is the normal restaurant, the eatery area. And we're going to go into the special little room where it's air conditioned. Well, I'm hoping so. Thank you, Baya. So we've been sat down at a table of six. This is a casual dining experience. Um, the cleanliness is okay. Um, if it's between, if the standards are one to five for the hygiene rating, this would be about two and a half to three. So it's satisfactory. We've washed our hands because we normally use our hands to eat in Bangladesh. You can ask for cutleries. We've ordered a mixed grill with some beef and some vegetables etc there's um, me with two little lads so children they're going to share the meal with me um, so now we're waiting for the food so we've been presented with a bit of a salad so cucumbers lemons green chilies wonderful thank you so they got their own logo which is good Getting ready to eat. Mashallah, only Amrakhani. Okay, so this is a lovely mix kebab. Paratha. So this is a mustard sauce. This looks like some chicken pieces, chicken wings, shish kebab, chicken chap. This is mayonnaise and paratha. And more food on its way. So some boiled rice, biryani, mung dal, khalabuna, which is the beef. Looks wonderful. Agua, khani agua. So that's the lentil. Thank you, Baisa. This is the beef khalabuna. I'm looking forward to this. Um, he said this is the original recipe, which is the beef. So this is the chicken biryani. So there's a chicken hiding underneath the rice, which we're gonna share. Wonderful. And some rice, the rice taco. So this looks like a wonderful meal for us to try. So I'm gonna go first and dig in. Right, so this is the mixed grill. So this is the chicken. Look at that. So this is the chicken. This looks like the chicken chap which is the, looks like a breast of chicken. This looks like a nice breast of chicken. Khandata. Now, these looks like a shish kebab, which is a bit of beef. There you go. 
Now, I'm gonna tuck in first to the chicken. There you go. So this is the chicken, the breast of chicken. One of my favorite parts. Now, Bismillah. Wow. Amazing. The texture is a little bit tough. However, the flavor is gorgeous. So much spice. Look at that. So much spice. You don't need any sauce at all. And I can feel the tingling sensation in my mouth. So this is the must, uh, mustard sauce. The little bits of the black mustard. Looks wonderful. So I think this is going to be peppery, spicy and zingy. Oh yeah. That little pepperiness hits the nose. This is wonderful. Really enjoying that. This is a surprise. Bit of mayo. You can't go wrong with mayo. Wonderful. Let's move on. This is called the chicken chap. So it's covered in masala with some uh, flour for a bit of breading. So it's crispy skin and I'm hoping it's going to be sucking and juicy chicken. I'm really enjoying that sauce by the way. It's got raw onions as well. Oh look at that. Dribbling. Beautiful. Wow. Crispy, crunchy, it's like that fried chicken flavor with loads of spices. Unbelievable. This is a shish kebab. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm assuming this is beef. Yeah, that's nice. Nothing too exciting to jump about. You don't need any sauce with this. Marination of the spice is wonderful. Wow. I'll show you this paratha. Looks like a bit of sugar, sugar powder, and some carrots for a little bit of decoration. And now, this is the halabuna, which is called black beef. It's been cooked, cooked, cooked to perfection. And now, beef halabuna with paratha. Oh, look at that. This actually looks mouth-watering. Wow. That's an unreal flavor. This is not your normal buna. This is covered in so much spices and uh, black pepper, chili pepper, cumin. I can taste all of that. Wow. I haven't even had the green chili, but I've got the slight sweats. Unbelievable. This is the biryani. So there's a chicken lurking underneath. Look at that. There you go. Chicken and a boiled egg. Wonderful. You get a bit of boiled egg, a bit of the rice, and I'm going to try that chicken. We're sharing with family, so this is share the flavor and love. So a bit of the chicken, juicy, soft and tender, a bit of the rice, bismillah. But after the spice, it's not hot, but it's very flavorful. Loads of lovely flavors from the chicken. You can see the sauce sticking to the chicken. Wonderful. And I've ordered some lentils as a bit of the sauce. So let me try a bit of the lentils. So this is the mung dal. This is the mung dal. 
I love this lentil by the way, especially in Bangladesh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Amazing. You know what? This was recommended and I'm, I'm happy I'm here. Finger looking good. If you enjoy what I do by the way, make sure to like, share and subscribe. I know I should be uploading more videos, but whenever I'm in Bangladesh, I get extremely busy trying to manage life here and I actually come in to take some time off. So if you enjoy what I do, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And let me tuck into this amazing meal. Wonderful. That's what's called. So I'm finishing my meal with a cup of tea. Oh, thank you. So this is a special milk tea. I think it's nice and frothy, like a sort of cappuccino style. And the two lads with me, they're going to be having milkshake. So one's a Chelsea fan. Do you that Chelsea? Do you Manchester United. So your usual Man United fan in Bangladesh and your Chelsea fan. And me with my cup of tea. The two lads with me, they're going to be having milkshake. So one's having a strawberry milkshake and a chocolate milkshake. Thank you. Bismillah. How's that? Nice. So we're finishing our meal with, uh, we should be having desserts, but we're actually absolutely stuffed. So I've opted for a milk tea, which is very sweet, but it's very nice because of that spicy food and that sweet it just cleanses the palate and uh, these gentlemen here having the milkshake this looks nice and it's quite thick it looks nice and thick and there's a strawberry uh, milkshake as well so we've enjoyed our meal and then after our cup of tea and our milkshakes we're gonna go and see how much the bill is and see what the surprise comes to finally the bill so it comes to 1900 taka which is pretty decent for a lovely meal for three people. We have plenty of food and that costs about 15 quid, which is amazing. Happy Kushini? Alhamdulillah. So we're gonna pay up and leave. So that was a fantastic meal, 1900 taka, which is about 15 quid, worked out five pounds per head. Now we've had a, a, a lovely mixed grill, we've had uh, Kalabuna which is with the beef. We've also had a chicken biryani, milkshakes and a lovely milky frothy chai latte to finish up with. That was a fantastic meal. If you enjoy what I do make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to have some amazing recipes check out the channel. I've got butter chicken, chicken tikka masala, chicken du piazza, chicken madras, proper British Indian restaurant methods. I let out all the secrets to some wonderful curries and the people who follow me they've told me They've stopped going to the curry houses because they've been following my wonderful recipes and I'll simplify it for you, no nonsense style of cooking. So if you enjoy what I do, hit the subscribe button, really appreciate it and put a like on the uh, video if you enjoyed this as well. See you soon for some lovely videos at Latif's Inspired. Take care.